Hello everyone and welcome to part two of my series on upgrading Atherin freight cars. Uh, the last and first episode we uh, changed these trucks over to KD sprung type trucks. Uh, in this episode we're going to replace the couplers, the horn hook couplers with uh, these KD styles. In this case these are, I'm going to get this up to the camera. <laughs> See them? They have little whiskers on them. Just barely see those. These are the, uh, I believe the number is the 148s. Yeah, these are 148 uh, couplers. Uh, they're medium shanked, centered, uh, much like the uh, old original uh, number 5 coupler. Here's a number 5. I get towards it. Focus, doggone it. Not behaving. Not behaving. <laughs> there it is. Okay. It's in focus now. The dog on autofocus is going to drive you crazy. Anyway, so uh, we're going to use the uh, these 148s. I've um, started using uh, the, the uh, cat whisker style couplers a while ago and I found they're really nice. A lot easier to install than the original ones with a large spring base. So, uh, a few tools we're going to need, not nothing much. A couple of uh, jeweler screwdrivers work, like these two here. One uh, large one and one uh, medium sized. And we just might need a pair of uh, long nose. We're especially going to need these when we go to adjusting the uh, pin, trip pins. And speaking of trip pins, having a, uh, one of the gauges here like this one is really handy and if you don't have that well we can always use a model railroad style scale rule these were pretty good too okay so on to the model itself uh, just like before we're going to uh, pop the uh, the base out and uh, normally if you're assembling a model you're going to put the uh, the couplers on first but because this one's getting a lot of handling here I decided to uh, do the trucks first so in order to go back to that and that's not going to be a big deal we're just going to take the uh, we're just going to take these off and all we have to do is just reset them after we do it and I'll probably do that off camera so you don't have to watch me sit there and play with the, uh, the screws on these I'll just screw them down and then adjust them real quick okay the trucks are off and we'll separate this okay now getting these uh, off I'm gonna try to shine this so you can see that clip and you just get in there get your little screwdriver up underneath it give it a little gentle pry and it pulls off to the side do the same on the other side you don't want to wow it was tight it's always one that's tight isn't it let me try the other side Things on scary tight. I wonder why. Oh, there it goes. It's nice it's on really good and tight. That's helpful, but uh, it'll be a pain in the behind. Just be careful you don't punch yourself. Oh, we can put these uh, old uh, horn hook style over here. And then we can grab our whisker style couplers. Uh, one thing too, uh, if this bothers you to look at these things, if you think they're just a little bit too beat up, uh, you can always sand them and, and paint them. The big thing to have is that the inside of these is just a little bit uh, clean. If they've got a lot of rust on there, it's going to catch. And one of the things I'm going to do with this, because I've already seen what these things do, 
So I'm just going to put this in the uh, pliers here. And I'm going to give it just a slight little bowing. Nothing big, just enough to bring it up. And that's so that there's no, no wobble in the coupler. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to set this guy on here. Make sure it's right side up. It means the pin's on the same side as the details. And then we're going to put this on. I'm looking over the camera, so I'm hopefully I'm not going to mess up too much here. I think that's it. Right there, yeah, that looks like about it. And that thing's just far too loose. It went on, but it's very loose. We don't want that. So I'm going to pop it off. Now I'm kind of glad it's loose because that's a common problem with these. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a hold of this and bend it inward. Just a little bit, not that much. Just enough so that it's pretty much vertical. And I'm just kind of going by feel on these, but I'll look at them. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see if that's good enough. All right. If you buy these things brand new, these uh, uh, housing couplers, uh, it's housing couplers, uh, these coupler housing uh, shells, they uh, are usually real tight when you get them brand new. And uh, oh yeah, that's nice and tight. Look at that, beautiful. No slop, no nothing. Excellent. Okay, now we'll go to the other one. Yeah, the uh, the ones you buy brand new are pretty tight. They don't have to be adjusted. And uh, these, once you take them off a model and you put them on one, once or twice, they tend to expand just a bit. So, okay, that's those look pretty straight. You want to just bend in just slightly, just a little bit. And uh, once you do. Uh, get them, get them like that. It should give you all the grip you need to hold your coupler in place. Okay, it's lined up there. Should be good. There. Looks like that's gonna fall right there. Okay, give your couplers a little wiggle. Okay, check them, make sure that they're nice and loose and not sticking anywhere. And this appears to be perfect. Now, we just put it back together. think that's just about right. Okay. Now I'm going to put the cover on and we're going to go place this thing on the layout and see uh, how it lines up with everything. Okay, meet you over there. Okay, so here we are back at the layout, and I'm going to uh, check and see how well these uh, couplers align. I can tell from a distance that the uh, couplers themselves appear to be pretty doggone close. Let's get down here a little bit so we can see it. Go over just a bit. Okay. 
but as you can see the pin is too low so let's pull this back out I'll try and keep this in the, in the camera's view so you can see it okay we're going to take the long nose pliers use this method we want to raise this thing up so I'm going to hook it both here and here and give it a squeeze I don't know if I can actually do this on it out of the camera watching you know let me uh, just do it off camera I'm sorry it's just a uh, I'm not coordinated enough to hold this out in front of me and do it. I've showed you on the other video how I did this. And uh, okay. Alright. just catching look at that just catching the slightest little bit and that's probably not a bad thing but unfortunately I'm somewhat a perfectionist when it comes to these trucks and couplers I always like them to be perfect because I found out the hard way that the slightest little bit of uh, error on your part can mean the difference between running smoothly and derailments. Okay, Let's see how that looks. I guess I didn't move it enough. Let's do that again. It's always this little bit. Uh, of trial and error. That should do it. That's on the move. And it's something that'll come with experience. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Now look at that, nice and smooth. Let's check the other side. With any luck, it'll be close. I'm not a firm believer in luck when it comes to these. Out. Ooh. Get in there too. Yeah, look at that. How do you like that? Straight out of the box and it fits. And they couple up nicely. So, we are done here. We have our trucks on and we can couple up to uh, other cars. And it looks good. this side again. So it touches it but it doesn't hang. That's okay. So there you have it. This is uh, how I install couplers. And uh, this also concludes uh, part two of my video series on upgrading Athern uh, Blue Box Freight Cars. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll be working on uh, part three.